Welcome to Fresh Flare Furniture Artistry. I'm Annie and I'm going to show you a makeover with this buffet I got off of Facebook Marketplace. It was spray painted, I believe, with some sort of enamel spray paint. And we're going to take it from this to something else. So come along. The first thing I do is I take the drawers out and I look inside and all over it actually to find out what it is that I'm going to be working with. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it at this point yet, but I do like to really get to know the piece itself, what parts I want to make sure that I keep and what parts need to be fixed or improved upon. And then as it progresses into its restoration, I come up with a vision. So there were some pretty bad uh, loose joints on this buffet, but inside and everywhere, it, it was in good shape um, besides the loose joints. And so those are fairly easy to fix. So I went ahead and took off that top railing and I found a broken screw. Um, then the back was pretty bad as far as the condition of it. It was warped, the veneer had been splitting. And so a lot of the times I'll take this backing off of my pieces, not only because they're kind of ruined, uh, but because I can really get in there and do some work to stabilize the piece and clean it and do whatever I need to do to make it like new again in some ways. So I went ahead and popped this off of here and I'm gonna be cutting a new piece and replacing this. It's really a nice thing to do if, if you can do it. Then I got out my shop back and I first vacuumed everything out. I do that all the time and then I get in and I clean it thoroughly. I use some crud cutter this time but I have various cleaning products that I use and I scrubbed it inside and out so the next person that owns it uh, knows that it was pretty much uh, like new again inside. And because I couldn't strip that paint off I had to scrape it and uh, honestly I had never scraped furniture before. I've done little pieces but not the whole top of a piece of furniture but I was so excited to see this wood underneath. Solid wood. There's no veneer on, the, on this piece other than inside uh, some of the drawer areas but there's no veneer anywhere and it's a very nice wood that somebody used it to hammer something on and there were some little dents here and there that I couldn't scrape off so I decided to sand it uh, once and then I went over and got out my iron and, and a wet rag and the reason for this being that I use that steam and wet rag to try to raise the dent out of the wood. And if you do this, a lot of times it really helps raise that dented area by setting, you know, the moisture inside of it and it just expands. So I worked on that quite a while. I felt like I did pretty well on that and then I moved to the smaller pieces and then I decided it was time to sand it. So I got out the 120 grit sandpaper in my surf prep sander that I just love. It's a three by four electric ray surf prep sander. I have it hooked up to my shop vac so there's no dust. I did that pretty much and then I decided to go ahead and, and switch to an 80 grit with the foam pad so I could do the the curves. This foam pad is makes things really easy so that you don't flatten the curves on a 
piece when you're going over the edges and so I made quick work of that and then I did another probably 180 grit sanding over the top then I started with these ugly drawers they had a couple of nails tacking them in at the the back so I went ahead and removed that and pulled out the drawer bottom and proceeded to try to get that old filthy felt out of there by pulling on it and that wasn't very good so I got it wet I just sprayed water on it over and over and it started peeling right away the glue was a water-based glue and it softened right up and I did that until I got it all off and took it to the sink washed it all off and uh, let it dry and then I moved to the next drawer just like it did the same thing to that drawer took out the bottom again and then I went ahead and sanded it and isn't it beautiful I mean look at that beautiful wood oh I just so excited about that so I put the drawer bottoms back in and put them aside for now until I could get uh, to the finishing part of the piece when I knew what color I was going to do things. So as you saw, the joints were pretty bad on some of the parts here. So we rigged up this uh, strapping. My friend Cliff and I, who comes down sometimes to the shop and helps me, and we glued it and used the furniture straps and just tightened them all up because we didn't have any clamps that were that long and it worked great we let those dry and then I came to fix this corner on this one drawer the corner had broken off and so I decided to try some bondo on it I took the bondo out and added the activator and then attempted to create a pointed little corner and one trick that you may or may not know is before it dries completely and, and Bondo drives pretty fast you can just carve away the parts that you don't want and it makes it a lot easier to sand it uh, into shape uh, so I did that with this sanding pad and I got it to look pretty much like the other little pointy parts and put it in the drawer and look at that. I mean, other than the fact that it looks like Bondo, it's, uh, it's pretty good and I'll see how I can maybe camouflage that later. And the top is just gorgeous. So then I moved on to the handle and it turned out to be just as beautiful as the rest of the wood. I'm so glad because this is such an interesting handle. It deserves to be on that piece of furniture and kind of makes the piece itself. You know, hardware really gives it the personality. So then I decided I was going to paint it uh, this blue. And I use a chalk mineral paint. Uh, they come in very many different lines. This is a Dixie Bell. And I went ahead and sprayed water on it and kind of just made a real nice thin coat. And then I did a couple of coats of that. It dries pretty fast. And painted the whole uh, frame of it this blue color. And the back is still off, as you can see, but I sanded inside of there. And then I tried my first attempt at what is this wood going to look like. So I do this sometimes by just starting out with a watered down um, stain. I did a light one here and it turned out to be not very impressive. So I added, made another batch of a recipe. I can't tell you what it is, uh, but I water it all down and I put it on there and wipe it off and see if I like it. And that's what I did here. 
as you see it's really watered down so even if I didn't like it it would be real easy to fix and if I did like it I could just make more of it and more layers of it and it works out pretty good I'm sure it's not the way other people do it but I do it that way and this general finishes flat sealer it's my very favorite it's water-based and I use it almost on everything even though it's flat it has a bit of a shine so it's washable and I put several coats usually on the tops and then two or three on the the rest of it and it turns out great as you can see isn't that pretty so it just turned out just really really nice and I just kept mixing different stains and paints and watering them down until it came out like this. Put new hardware on the drawers, on the top layer of drawers, and um, stain them kind of similar to the, to the top and the front of the drawers. And as you can see, it, it just came out really, really nice. And I'm sure somebody's gonna really enjoy this. Put some drawer liners in and it should work pretty well for just about anybody who ends up with this. I want to thank you for watching the process and visiting my Fresh Flare Furniture Artistry video. Take care.